Hello, guys. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Mr. Olympic Champion Brandon Curry here. Warming up today, I'm gonna go you, send you through some chest, chest work. But what I'm doing first is I'm kind of warming this body up. Got the new X here, pre-activation. I did this uh, a couple days ago. My connection was stellar. So making sure everything's opened up. I go through some manual movements to make sure I'm nice and warm. So let's see if we get some push-ups in on this table. I won't train with this today, but I'll just use it to kind of pre-activate the muscles. Just a little bit more. Ooh. First, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go through some exercises that I didn't always have a strong chest. So I understand you guys want to develop the chest. I had a weaker chest coming up when I first started training. So I want to show you some of the exercises that helped me you know, basically connect with my chest and develop my chest. And from there, after I learned these movements and learned how to focus on my chest, I was able to go to other exercises and incorporate some of the same uh, techniques. But a lot, a lot of it is all about feeling the chest and connecting with the chest. So first thing we'll start with is we'll start with the dip because the dip was very vital. Chest dip was very vital for my, for my chest development. We're doing a chest dip. I'm gonna use the prime machine. I'm gonna show you it free, but I'm gonna show you the prime machine first because I like to warm up on the prime machine. We've got the handles as wide as possible, so I don't even have them hooked here, as you can see. They're not even hooked, they're as wide as possible. I'm gonna face the camera. I uh, can't forget about this though. This is exalt and expansion mix. If you haven't tried it, gotta try that. Let's get in. Let's set up, so chest dip, you wanna lean forward slightly. You wanna come through? Let me come, I gotta get my butt back a little bit. You want to come through, lean forward slightly, push through, squeeze, and come up. You're not really trying to straighten out the arms as much as you're trying to depress the chest. So you're trying to depress the chest. All it is is trying to push some shoulders down and squeeze the chest. So don't worry about how straight the arms are. If I was to do the first triceps, I'd be sitting more upright like this, and my elbows would go more behind me and I'll be more upright and I'll be pushing through the triceps. But with the chest, you see it's different. Lean forward. Let's throw it squeeze in here. Before we do this again, I'm gonna go show you a three. Face out. Put my feet out in front of me, like this. Lean forward. As you see there, you're not locking up the elbows or anything at the top. Focusing on keeping the tension in the stretch, coming down and stretching the pec. So we'll go back to the machine. When you're doing this, put your chin into your chest. That way you can feel your chest contracting under your chin. Helps you focus on squeezing your chest. reps I did but technically since it's my second chest session since the for the Olympia I'll be doing lower volumes so I'll be doing fives probably like five sets of five of the most exercises and then maybe a volume exercise towards the end to make sure I'm done uh, but for demonstration purposes I'll use more reps on these exercises next exercise that I use a lot for the upper chest for, for the incline is a like an incline press but I didn't use a barbell I didn't really use a dumbbell. I was really trying to fill my chest. I used cables. I used a cable setup because I needed that 45 degree tension that put it all up in my chest and, and took out the shoulders and took out the triceps from the movement. So I used cables. But what we have here is we have a fly machine that allows me to press at that 45 degree with that 45 degree tension that a cable machine would. And I get the same effect, the same effect from this. Now this is a fly machine standard, but I'm gonna do a press on it. 45 degree angle 
to show you what I'm doing about that. Now, like I said, if you don't have one of these in your gym, it's fine. Just use an incline bench in between a cable crossover setup or a cable setup. Like I said, set the, set the cables low and push up to the 45 degree angle, push at the top, coming back down, just like a standard press with a dumbbell. The reason why I like this over a barbell is because a barbell, you're not getting that inward adduction to squeeze the chest, you're just pushing up and down. So a lot of people that have trouble connecting with the chest, they get overly stimulated in the front delt instead of really hitting the chest when they started getting the triceps. So I, I didn't really use that. As far as dumbbells, even though they're, you can move in the adduction movement, it's, it's kind of limited to where that stops. And, you, and a lot of times you're working with rest, strength, stabilization, and sometimes when you work with all those factors, it's hard to focus on the muscle that you want to work. But to eliminate it, I go to a machine or a cable, and I can focus on actually isolating the upper chest and the muscle that I want to work. So we're going to do another set here, add some more weight. The reason I prefer this over the cable, it's just easier to set up. <laughs> Now what I really encourage you on these exercises is to really open up, really open up the chest. A lot of people cheat the range of motion. The stretch is one of the more important parts of any chest exercise. So really open up, get that stretch, squeeze, get that contraction. So control it going down, get that stretch, and contract. If your movement looks anything like this, You're not getting the most out of exercise. So, set through the full range, back through the full range. And what you will notice with whether it's the incline variation, I mean the, the uh, cable variation or this variation, what you will notice is even though you're pressing, you're not getting any activation hardly in the shoulders or the triceps. And that's very important for exercise when it really comes to focusing on bringing up a weak chest or if you're not. One of those people that are lucky enough to have one of those natural barrel chests and short enough arms where you can bench press the world and your chest will grow. So fortunately for me, I was the same, unfortunately for me, I was in the same boat. Long arms, and I had to find a way to work around that to build my chest. A lot of people critique my range of motion on some of the barbell presses and stuff like that, but that's because I learned to keep it in a range of motion where it works my chest and not my shoulders and not my triceps. So that's another tip, the range of motion matters with, with barbells specifically and some machines because you want to keep that curve of tension in the chest range. And the moment you feel yourself going out of that, you may fatigue other muscle groups before the chest becomes fully fatigued, which will contribute to a lack of development down the road. I don't know if it's just because I ain't training a long time, but that was heavy. One other thing, as far as what it takes to set, you don't take the first set to failure or the second set to failure, depending on how many sets you're going to do, but at least it take one or two sets in exercise to failure. And what I mean by failure is when they see that bar speed slows down substantially and you're either able to not complete another rep or you're not able to complete another rep with good form and technique that you need to use to activate the proper muscle groups. That's what I mean by failure. Piece of advice. Sometimes ego gets in the way when you're training chest. So I like to pick exercises for people that lack chest development that removes the ego. So we're gonna do a standard flat dumbbell press, but we're gonna use a technique I call press and fly. So that makes you control the essential range of motion, causes you to open up, get a good stretch, come back in and press it. 
What you find out is you, of course, you're strong to pressing it, and you are flying it out, but you're overloading the stretch, and you can't use as much weight, but you're still getting as much tension and work out of the chest. And you don't have to think about the ego because you're doing a movement that it's not just straight pressing up and down. It's more complicated than that. So anybody watching or seeing how heavy you lift, they can understand. That's why you're going light. <laughs> now you got that coming down slow, popping it up fast, coming down slow. You're really for that stretch. You're really for that blood getting into the muscle. But now it's time to go a little bit heavier. Got a good pump, everything's tight, everything's good, connection is good, my shoulders feel great, my elbows feel great, my triceps feel great. That's all we want. Uh, one more exercise to focus on, we're gonna focus on a fly, pure fly. Uh, we're gonna use a machine for this. Can't go wrong on this, hopefully, anyway. Now, if I didn't discuss maybe before, anything we have a back pattern, you need to make sure to establish a base, getting the shoulder blades back on it, getting the chest out. Come in, squeeze it through the chest. When you can get forward a little bit, get a little bit more squeeze, but we're not gonna over, we're gonna over accentuate that movement. So you wanna challenge it, turn this into one and a half, so. Half. Now the one and a half rep is a little more challenging, but what it is designed to do is making sure you're focused on a contraction. You focus on controlling the weight and reversing the control and the contraction. It's gonna stimulate, overstimulate that top range and uh, really provide a very good pump, like almost like occluding at the top because you're not allowing the muscle to open up and stretch. I recommend for exercises like this, there's so much isolation in them, pure isolation. Especially at the end, take every set to failure. Last exercise, every set to failure. <laughs> you should be warmed up, so you don't have to worry about warming up or anything. Just go ahead and finish the muscle off and take your butt home. that allows you to stretch. Open those five arms up, stretch, stretch. Using that stretch overload for more tension, time under tension as well. Turn those muscle fibers up and uh, stimulating some gains. One more set and we'll be done. I didn't, I didn't come to really get a hard workout today, but damn, I have to say, just that little bit is kicking my butt. Maybe that new ex, uh, pre activation really got my muscles really just Ready to fire, so uh, I'm good right now. I can be done. <laughs> Do 
this. Let me know how it feels in the comment section. Um, hopefully I helped some of y'all that needed help. If you didn't need help, hopefully you enjoyed just watching for entertainment purposes. Uh, got a little blood in there today. Now it's time to go get a big old boy. <laughs>